What's up guys and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you three no-nonsense video hacks for the Nikon Z6 II. This should also work on the Z7 II as well as the first generation Nikon mirrorless cameras. I'm gonna show you how to lock in your exposure with the touch of a single button. I'm gonna show you how to get more reach out of your lenses and I'm also gonna show you how to film yourself even though we don't have a flip screen. Let's get right to it. First up, let's talk about auto exposure lock. Let's walk through this scene and see how the camera behaves. I've got a backlight right there coming in from the outside and check it out. Let's turn and move back into the kitchen. And you can see that the camera has automatically exposed for the changing light conditions. What if you want your exposure to remain the same throughout the entire scene? Let me show you how to set up the auto exposure lock shortcut. So I like to map this to the AF on button. To do that, we're going to open up our menu. All right, you're gonna tab down to the custom settings menu. We're gonna go down to G, the option for movie. And then you'll see custom controls. And then AF on, it's the second option on the left. And you wanna map this to auto exposure lock hold. The reason I like hold is when I press that button once, it stays in that mode until I press that button again. Hit OK, it should be mapped. Half press the shutter to go back home, and now we can test out our shortcut. If I hit the AF on button, check this out right there. Auto exposure lock is on. All right, I've got the auto exposure lock turned on. Let's walk through the same scene and see how the camera behaves. What I did is exposed for the scene behind me, hit the lock button, and now we're just gonna walk around and see what happens. So I'm coming in, same scene, and let's turn. So there's less light in the background right now. Um, before, the camera was trying to auto expose for the lighting that you had available. Since we've got it on the exposure lock, I'm still properly exposed for the outdoor scene behind me. This is nice if you want your lighting to be consistent throughout an entire shot despite changing lighting conditions. I also find this feature to be very handy when shooting at night or shooting concerts or, or shooting anything with those crazy changing light scenarios. This keeps your exposure where you want it. Hack number two, I'm gonna show you how to use a shortcut called select image area to get more reach out of a single lens. So you've probably been in a situation before where you wanted to get a tighter shot but you only had a single lens or you didn't have time to actually switch out a lens from the bag. This shortcut tells the camera to crop in but it doesn't lower your output resolution. Let's take a look. Next, let's set up our crop mode shortcut. I like to map this one to the D-pad press. So what we're gonna do, again, hit the menu button. We're gonna go back to our custom setting menu, select movie, select custom controls, and then what you're looking for is sub selector center. It's the second option on the right. Click OK, and then this one, you want to find choose image area. Click on that, it should be mapped. Now, when we press in our D-pad, check it out. I can use the front wheel to switch between FX and DX modes. And right here, you can actually see how big of a difference that makes. I have with me the 50 millimeter 1.8S lens on the Z6 II, and I'm filming our dog, P. What are you doing, P? Yeah, are you sleepy girl? Look at that. So imagine that this is as close as you can get to your subject. If you have a prime lens, that's as far as you're gonna go. Now you could crop in in post, that would be fine, except at that point you're degrading your resolution, right? Let's turn on DX mode and see how that changes the image. All right, I have DX mode turned on and you can see we are much closer to the subject with this prime lens. It effectively applies something that seems like about a 1.3 times crop and it allows you to get much closer Video hack number three. Are you tired of your Canon and Sony fanboy friends giving you crap because Nikon doesn't have a flip out screen? Do you wanna make cool YouTube videos? But you just can't because you can't see yourself. Well, I'm gonna show you how to take care of that using the SnapBridge app and your smartphone or smart device. Before we get going on this one, jump into your app store, download SnapBridge, and let's take a look at how this works. For hack number three, I'm going to be using my smartphone, a ball head that attaches to the hot shoe on my camera, as well as a phone tripod mount. Step number one, open up SnapBridge. If for some reason your phone isn't finding your camera, half press the shutter button just to wake it up, and then tap remote photography. It asks to switch to Wi-Fi mode, go ahead and do that. 
Once the app gets connected, I went ahead and put the ball mount on top of my camera, the tripod mount on top of that, and I stuck the phone in the tripod. As you can see, I have a video monitoring solution even though I don't have a fancy flip out screen. And just like that, I'm famous. I've got a YouTube channel. I can film myself and see myself because I'm incredibly vain and need to see myself. But that being said, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video talking about three video hacks for the Nikon Z6 II. You know, if you like what you saw, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.